Hey, what's up? This is Prodigy Music Man, and I'm gonna give you my review on my Triple Fi Tens that have been remolded by In Ears Audio. I saw that there was a company called In Ears that did remolds for Triple Fi Tens. That was one of the things they specialized in. So I went ahead and got my ears molded. I got my ears cleaned. I did the entire process. It cost me $80 to get my ears molded. Um, my insurance would have covered getting my ears cleaned out, but I just went ahead and paid for it out of pocket. I believe that might have been $80 too. The process from in-ears to actually get the remolds created was about $150, and that included like a custom artwork. So all in all, I guess you could say that was about an extra, really about 310 for headphones that cost me at least $100 in the first place. At the end, I have like a $400 pair of earbuds. Is it worth it? Hell yeah, they're absolutely sick. I mean, they sound amazing, man. For me, as a live musician, it's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something where I could, I could hear the crispness of my sound, of, of the bass thumping in my ear. I wanted all of that, and the vocal presence is very clear, it's very good. I AB'd these with my Shure 315s and they blew them out the water. Like the, the Shure 315s have no chance of competing with the clarity of these uh, monitors once you get these things remolded. I mean, when you get them remolded, they're gonna fit in your ear and they're gonna fit perfectly. I would recommend when you get your molding done that you open your mouth and uh, do that motion if you're, if you're a singer. But there's one thing I will say though, um, depending on the temperature and how long I wear these, also my direction of my head, these uh, the fits of these remolds tends to change. Sometimes when I get a good fit and it's in there, it's in there, it's not gonna change at all. Um, sometimes I have a problem, I try to experiment and see where it's gonna fit and it just doesn't always fit. But usually after about a minute or two, of just using them they settle in and they get pretty consistent and you can tell when it's not sealed because the base isn't isn't where it should be and you know with these for the triple five tens where your base should be these moldings were made from some type of a plastic um, it's kind of weird when you put them in your ear and they're cold because you can feel it really deep in your ear and it takes a minute for you know your body to warm up the, the, the earbuds and and really get them to the point where um, you know, it's just not there anymore. But I mean, and, and it's funny too, cause you can sweat and when you pull them out, you can just kind of, you can feel almost like your ears, your ears breathing. It's a really weird feeling, but you know, by that time, if you've worked up a sweat on these, then you know, you're probably doing something pretty serious anyway. I didn't think that these sealed as good as my foam tips at first, but I realized that they really do. They just feel different and because the foam is constantly pushing to expand in your ear canal, I think that pressure was what I was expecting with these. And I don't feel that pressure. These these feel like, I can't say they feel like nothing's in my ear, but they definitely, they, they don't, after, after a minute or so, you don't really feel anything. So uh, you can kind of see the profile of them right now. You know, nothing too crazy. They're pretty solid. Um, really well built and they did a great job. The artwork on these was was great. Um, I would absolutely recommend in-ears for anybody who's looking to get their triple five tens remolded or maybe even any other type of a uh, high-end earbud that um, has multiple drivers in it. I wouldn't even do this if it had one driver and I'm sorry, I, I just don't see the point of that. Like that's, to me that's a waste of money and it's a waste of um, expectations because you're you're not you're not really gonna get the max out of it you if you're gonna do this you're gonna at least need like three drivers in your ear um, and I'd say three drivers because you know you want present bass and you really want a dedicated driver for the at least for the mids and the highs to kind of push that through when you think about drivers think about them in the sense of um, you know bookshelf systems and, and, and car systems like different speakers perform different operations and if they're isolated at doing that then they can do it very efficiently 
and that's really what you want when you're talking about earbuds. I've had these for a while, and I can honestly say that the quality of the inner monitor remolds from in ears is phenomenal, man. I mean, like, it is very well put together, they're very solid. No pieces have come off, there's no chipping. I mean, they, these suckers came back looking smooth and beautiful and just feeling great. Um, the wire, the cable, the cable, man, the cable is actually in his cable. I, I'm assuming it is, that's what I asked for. And um, I paid a little bit extra to get that from them. But it's a pretty long cable, it's got a great distance to it. The sweet thing about the cable is that um, it doesn't tangle very much, ever. So I, I, I don't remember a time where I had to untangle this cable. And yeah, I do, I do take pretty good care of these and I put these in like, you know, um, a case when I'm not using them. But when I was testing these out on a daily basis, going back and forth, like maybe wearing them on a train, man, like it, it wasn't a big deal at all. If anything, the cable was really long. So I don't know how long this cable is, but you know, um, just be prepared for a really long cable. If you're a tall person, that's cool. If you're shorter than me, I'm six foot tall. If you're shorter than me, like five five, then uh, you just might wanna be aware that this is a pretty long cable. And I know why it's long. It's obviously made for, for you know, to give you more than you need in the event that you need more. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, sometimes I, I may be sitting away from my audio source, and that that may still work for me. So it's, it's neat in that sense. I like that, but. I'm not complaining at all about the cable at all. The one thing I, th I do think I found weird about the cable is that it's actually um, turning colors on me. I don't know if it's my case or what it is, but it's turning a little greenish black. And um, I, I, I think uh, I've heard somebody mention oxidation before on the wires. But I'm not really sure if that's what's happening here. I can tell you that the sound quality has not been affected by this at all. But um, it's something I'm keeping an eye on just in case. The Triple Fight 10s, the original ones, they stick out from your ear. They maybe about an inch and a half or something like that. Um, they're also over the ear earbuds, but their cable, um, the cables that came along with it, I would say they're not as uh, sturdy as, as the one that I have here. Absolutely not, I mean, not even in the same class. So I would say these are, these are, this is a professional grade cable and you know, this cable right here is, I mean, you see it's tangled up right now. So that's, that's what it like to do. The in -ears cable does not have a microphone on it so that you can talk and take phone calls. Um, the UE 900s, came with a cable that allowed you to take phone calls in addition to pause and play music. Uh, but these these right here, I mean, they're pretty straightforward. The, the, the connectors are the same as the um, original Triple Five Tens, but um, I don't know if it's because of the cable, but they seem a little thicker. Uh, the actual connectors, the, the, the pins seem a little thicker. So when I plugged in my old cable into my, my new re reshells, it didn't really fit flush. It didn't stay in there, and it kept popping out. So I had to go. I had to use the um, the cable that they gave me when I when I bought the uh, reshells from in ears. And I mean, these cables. I mean, this thing doesn't come out at all. Like I don't have to worry about that at all. I did have to worry about that sometimes with the the stock UE cable on my um, Triple Five Tens, the orig the original ones. The, the you know the ones that that are universal. I would definitely recommend it. I'm very satisfied with my purchase from in ears on these uh, on these remolds, man. I mean, it took them maybe about um, three to four weeks maybe to get back with me um, from me sending off my molds that I got done by a professional audiologist to them sending it back to me and me getting it in the mail. That's pretty cool. But um, I mean, like I said, the detail on these things are is, is phenomenal, and uh, I absolutely think that most people would love to have them. Some people don't like having things going in here, but if you're looking for remolds that, that are in-air monitors, then this is definitely something you should check out. I'm Prodigy Music Man, and thank you for checking this out. Peace.